The St. Joseph City Council was expected to meet with developers of the proposed downtown hotel last week. However, in working with the developers, city staff learned the time frame has been delayed. KQ2's Rusty Summers with the details. The Red Lion Hotel that used to be located at 102 South 3rd Street in downtown St. Joseph closed in 2019. The city approved the demolition and rebuild of the building in October of 2022. A 150-room Courtyard by Marriott hotel will eventually take its place. The work session is now being postponed until the first of the year, um, and it's expected here in the next week or two we'll get revised information from the developer to be able to provide to the city council for their consideration. But um, at this point right now, the developer um, has had some delays as far as um, getting going um, due to construction related costs increasing, obviously interest rates have gone up. Thompson says the location is priority for the city to continue its downtown revitalization. And also the Civic Arena being adjacent to that location, it's it's paramount to have a um, hotel that's within walking distance to attract events um, to our downtown, but also just for the, the businesses located in our downtown area. The opening of the new hotel is something that the community is looking to see move forward and the city hopes it will happen in the next calendar year. What we're hoping 1st of January, uh, developer gets in front of council, explains the, the time frame and then um, it's better understood as far as um, a construction start date, completion date. Although the hotel's construction is delayed, the St. Joseph Convention and Visitors Bureau remains optimistic. It's coming. It's unfortunate. It just might be coming, you know, starting in 2024 rather than 2023. Um, but in terms of downtown events, Civic Arena being used, um, it's not slowing us down at all. Reporting in St. Joseph, Rusty Summers, KQ2 News. When developers break ground, it will take about 15 months to complete. The total project was estimated to cost around $30 million back in 2022. 